uh, maintaining our relationships with our students. And I know that this has been quite hard for some of us, especially during COVID-19. I guess, you know, usually when we're in class, we get to speak to them, we get to have those jokes, you know, walk around and help them. But when we're online, it's a little bit different. What do you guys think? Yeah, I agree completely. I think with building relationships, the school yard and the school environment provides that really equal playing field for all students. So regardless of where you come from, where you live and your family circumstances, everyone's got that equal playing field to do their best. But now that that's removed, I think if anything, COVID-19 has highlighted the inequalities in our society that have been built up over many, many years and not just in relation to education, but even to things like access to digital technologies. So I think that's highlighted not just for teachers because we knew these things already, but highlighted for everyone else. Um, and hopefully that gives us, I think might give us an opportunity to reform some of these mm -hmm. issues in our society. What do you think, Andrew? Yeah. Um, just going back to sort of the relationships and stuff, that was just so, um, you know, we all know how important that is, but sort of going through this, this period of time, it's just sort of really um, re-emphasise that a little bit, you know, like just the kids are just missing each other, you know, like we jump on the chat and, you know, they just want to talk and say hello to one another, um, you know, so I've definitely been sort of trying to provide them with a little bit of an opportunity for that sort of at the beginning of the, the chat and at the end of the chat. Um, and yeah, it just, it just makes it so much meaningful, doesn't it? Obviously, um, you know, um, yeah, like just like the quality of the learning itself as well. You know, we need to, you know, it's sort of lost meaning for us teachers and for the students as well a little bit because, you know, they're not sitting next to their friends. They're not taking on problems together. Um, that whole element of it has been lost over the, you know, the last month or so. But you know, um, oh, sorry, Andrew. I was just going to quickly say, you know, with our students, how you said they miss each other, but I do think our students miss us too. Mm -hmm. And I feel like, you know, as much as they don't want to admit, oh, being in class with or Misu or whoever, I think this is really giving them an opportunity to say, hey, you know what, my teachers really care. They're, they're, they're there for us. And I think they, they kind of want that back. Well, that's what I think. <laughs> yeah. It's almost you don't realize how much you miss something until it's gone. Gone, absolutely. Yeah. You don't. You and I know for me, I haven't realized how much I missed the routine of going to school and having my day regulated by bells until it's gone. Absolutely. <laughs> I think we're definitely all just going to have a much, um, much more gratitude for all those little things in our day. Um, yeah. So. Absolutely.